everybody in the Android development class or mobile app development class. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to take a look at notifications. So this video is about notifications. So navigate yourself over to the examples folder, click on the notifications txt. And uh, this is the example we're going to be working with. So notifications, um, I'm sure you guys know what they are. So those little pesty, pesty things that show up in the notifications bar when uh, an event has occurred and the app has sent a notification. Um, so you could have a background app, you could have a foreground app. We're going to do it from a foreground app. But you could have a broadcast receiver send a notification. You could have a service send a notification. Um, or your app could do it with a button, which is what we're going to do. <clears throat> so go ahead and start up a new Android uh, project and uh, select the empty activity option there. We're going to call this one uh, notifications. Notifications. And uh, it doesn't really matter what API version. Um, notifications did change significantly, however, from API version 26 onward. Um, so I wouldn't go any lower than 26, but um, because uh, we're going to be using the newer API, even though I think the API we're going to use right now is probably going to be a bit, might even be depreciated. We'll, we'll, we'll see that momentarily. We're going to use the notification manager. And I believe that in the current Pi version that the notification manager has been uh, upgraded. Uh, but about, you know, 80% of the apps out there aren't using Pi. So, um, I don't think we're going to run into a problem. You'll never run into a problem with it. So this one looks like it. Actually, this one's running a little faster, which is good. Uh, last time I loaded in an app, it actually kind of took longer. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, put in the... Uh, I'm going to go do the interface first uh, so you know what we're look looking at. This is the activity. The activity is just going to have a button on it. So let's do that one first. So activity underscore main dot XML. And let's just get rid of what's here. Paste in the code. Uh, this code is a linear layout. Couldn't get any simpler. We're going to put a background color in there. And uh, we've got a button on the button. It's going to say create notification. So we're going to use a button. We're going to click on the button. It's going to create a notification for us. And we can change it. I mean, well, we can create more. This is just going to create one because uh, it's going to call a method to create a notification for us. All right, so that was the easy part. Actually, the next part's not too bad either. Um, so let's see, let's go back to the file and copy and paste the code in, and then let me talk about notifications. So let's see. I'm leaving the package, and I'm just gonna paste it in right here. Uh, let's talk about this for a second. Bunch of new imports here. They have app notification, app channel, uh, notification channel, excuse me, uh, notification manager. There's our pending attempts, uh, pending intent, and our intents again. And uh, the rest of it is kind of kind of the stuff we've used before. So our main activity is going to extend activity. We've got a button. I've got a string for a channel ID. This can be anything you want. Just put a number in there. Um, I think there's like 10,000 available numbers you could use. So it doesn't matter what number you use, uh, but you do need to create, and we'll need to create a channel to send the, uh, the no notification through. Okay, on create. <clears throat> the on create method, uh, this stuff is the same stuff we've been looking at already. Um, we've got the, uh, the button. This is the button here. We're gonna, get the button by find view but find view by id button number one which is button number one this is our button and we're going to put an on click listener on our button this stuff is yet guys should be familiar with already uh, it's pretty uh we've done it over and over again <clears throat> and guess what here's the on click listener uh, method so on the on click listener we're going to run on click uh, so on click is going to create the notification channel first so it's a call. And I put the code for that down here on the bottom. So separated it out. 
So as of the current API, and I think it started with 26, but don't quote me on that. It's around Oreo days. Um, they decided to change the API. Oh, actually, here it is here. Created the notification channel, but only on API 26 plus. Um, it's a new feature, not supported in the support library. It's, uh, it's just kind of one of the changes that they did. So what does this do? It just registers the the, the channel, aka the source of where this notification is coming from. So it's a little build checked here. It says if the build dot version of the SDK in uh, SDK the SDK number if it's larger than or equal to build dot version code codes zero, which means that from the API standpoint, if it's above twenty six. You could probably just leave it out and we probably could just make it anyway. But below 20, below API 26, you don't need to create the notification channel. So, um, so we're going to create a character sequence name. The name's going to be called uh, channel name. It doesn't really matter what we do with it. And then we have a string here and it's going to be a description. This is actually a data type you might not be familiar with. Character sequence is a form of a, it's not really a string, uh, but it is a string. <laughs> But you need to create this name as a channel sequence data type for the API to work, um, which is weird. Uh, so string description, I'll just put a string in here. Probably could put this in a string in the resource, um, but it's okay. Integer importance, well, that's going to set like a priority importance. Uh, so we're going to do notification manager dot important default importance default, which is whatever the normal importance. So the importance, did I misspell description? I think I did. Uh, I did misspell it. Um, in the, in the, what, this is a built-in uh, parameter. You can set it to something you want, like 0, 1, 2, 3. It's the priority of the importance. This is the normal default importance. So it's going to wait in a queue with other notifications that are of the same um, priority level or importance level. So importance is sort of like a priority. So we set the priority importance level. Um, default's pretty nice, which means it's not going to like bombard other stuff. Um, notification channel channel. So we're going to make a new instance of the notification channel. This is going to be a new notification channel. And we're going to put and use the channel ID, which is this channel ID we put up here. Which is the same channel ID we're gonna send the uh, we're gonna put the uh, notification builder through with the name and the importance and here's the name and here's the importance which is an integer value by the way so the channel that set the description to description so registers a channel with the system you can't change the importance or other notification behaviors after this is kind of set and it sits here for the running of the app. So then the notification notification manager get the system service notification manager dot class and then for the notification manager create notification channel. This is the line right here that's creating the channel for us through the notification manager. So we created a notification channel. All this was extra work that happened as of API 26. Before, it would go through a generic channel, like channel null or channel zero, um, and it didn't really matter. Now you, can, you have to register a channel in order, and it's a permissions kind of thing, in order for the notification to be sent. If you're having problems and you get these funny little error messages, it's probably because you haven't created a notification channel. So putting it in a separate method allows you to just cut and paste and use the same code over and over again every time you're going to send a notification, really. All you have to do is just make a call to that that method. So in the on click, first thing we're going to do is create that notification channel. Now this part here is what's creating the notification for us. So we're going to use the notification builder, and this is the part I said that is depreciated. Uh, it's still being used today, though. There's a new one out. We could suppress that depreciation message, but it's not a big deal. Um, it's still a viable and it's probably the easiest way of setting a notification. Um, well, this one looks like jelly bean. Yeah. Anyway, long story short, uh, 
it still works so we'll just leave that alone notification dot builder builder is equal to new notification builder so we're going to create a new instance of this uh, you know new object and we're going to call it builder and it's of the notification builder which is you know building our notification <laughs> so builder dot set to channel id to the channel this is the channel that we have uh, put up here this is the one zero 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 one channel id same channel id that we're uh, using down here by the way with the uh, create notification channel so this is the uh, old stuff uh, intent my intent and uh, create a new intent pending intent for the next line here the pending intent that get activity stuff we've already looked at before the flag cancel current um, set for the pending intent which means if there's a current notification we send another one and cancel it and just go with this one so here's the stuff for the actual notification so for the builder we're going to set the small icon well we don't actually have a notification template icon for the background you could probably put it your own little image and there's some specs and you should go online and take a look for the specs for the image it can only be of a certain pixel size if it's going to show up correctly Ours is probably just going to be a blank box that's going to show up because I don't think this we even have this in the drawable, but uh, we don't have a notification template icon background. But it should still work. And so let's see. As set, so we're still working with the builder. We're also going to set the context title to hello world notification set the context text so this is what's going to show up in the notification so the title of it's going to be hello world this is the text that's going to show up in the body of the notification and then we're going to set the intent so set the content intent to the pending intent the pending intent is this activity get the activity for the uh, from our activity this is going to be the notification builder and then then the notification manager is going to set the system services. We're going to start the notification service and then get the notification from the builder. And then for the notification manager dot notify our dot drawable notification. Oh, this is that icon. We don't have create the notification using this icon that we don't actually have, um, which should work. This is just, we don't have any set for the default, but you would want to replace this, these two lines here, the notification template icon, the background, and p put an icon in there um, if you want to. So we're setting the icon, we're starting the intent, creating the notification. So if we run it, let's take a look and see what happens. We are building it. Last time I paused the video, as soon as I paused it, it started working. So I'm just gonna let it run, let it run its course here. Now this is a, example is meant for you to be able to cut and paste and use it by the way. So you should be able to create notifications and apps quite easily by just reusing this code. So, all right, so here's our lovely user interface with this button that says create notification and I click on create notification. Ooh, I get a little sound that happened. And uh, I get like a little thing up here at the top. And if I pull it down, I see hello world notification. Looks like I've got two of them up here. I was probably, let me clear this out uh, because I think this is from the last time I was testing it. Um, well, let's not put on do not disturb. Uh, let's see if I can figure out how to clear my notifications. Oh, let's just go up here. I think there'd be something here to clear it. Probably that little thing right there. <sighs> eh, it doesn't matter. Uh, here, clear all. Let's just clear all. Okay, so we are all cleared out now. So I'm going to press create notification again. There we go. This is the one from the app we just built. And there it is. It says, hello world notification. This is the notification details. 
and uh, there's our notification so this is what i was trying to say we got a little black box here or not black a little i don't know kind of a um, off gray color box going on here because we have this template icon background that we don't actually are really using we don't have we don't have an you could just put an icon in here though so if you wanted to you know improve this you could put an image in here um, so most of them will have like little pictures of stuff you know you, you do have to be very uh, particular about the size of the image that you stick in there but um, be nice you can also stick and if you google it you'll you'll be able to find out what is this i don't know what that is anyway you'll be able to maybe that's the audio you'll be able to to find out um what the specs are for the for the uh, image itself but you can also google the set you know for the builder there are like maybe about 10 other parameters you can set so you can set the icon the title, the text, you could actually put a, a links in there, you could put pictures in there, um, you can have it so it uh, loads other apps. There's like a lot of stuff that you can do in the builder to um, complement the behavior. And some of it is dependent on, uh, so let's see, actually, some of it is dependent on, let's just do this. Oops, we don't want that. I was looking for Google. Here we got Google. There we go. Um, so let's see what we want here. Builder. Uh, no, we want notification. Right, builder options. Let's see. If you go into the Android developer, you should be able to see um, for the builder, add, you can add extras, X person, build. Uh, there's a there's different styles and different things that you can do to the builder um, to customize what what this sucker looks like so this is a pretty plain one but and the other thing too here is every time I press it I'm creating the same notification and for me it's only showing up one time because it's sending it through the channel if the notification has already been sent the pending notification isn't gonna Let's do it again. Let's see, it's only one of them is going to show up. So if you wanted to, you could create multiple notifications and then have them on a timer and then have them show up. So you could create like a, a to-do list um, app that has like, you know, at five o'clock, I'm supposed to do this. At three o'clock, I'm supposed to do that. And then at those particular times, set a timer on it. And then instead of me, you know, sitting here with a button, you could set the notification up and then the notification in this particular case the way i've got it working it's only going to put it up one time so we're not going to see that notification flying up a hundred times it's only going to show up one time um, through the notification manager through the pending intent so so that is the notification example and it shows you how to put a notification up there um, you can add it to one of your apps. Uh, there's no requirement to use a notification for any of the assignments in this course, but you might decide to use it for something else. And it would not be an Android course if I didn't show you notifications. So there you have it. That's how you use a notification. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. Again, uh, the sample source code, just cut and paste it. You don't have to, you don't actually have to change the Android manifest or anything uh, for notifications. It works right there in the app. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and stay tuned for another one. Thanks for watching.